Hi, this is Galit Gopar and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier and happier place for you and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So how are you doing today? I hope you feel ecologically in order <laughs> because today our quote of the day is all about how our surrounding ecosystem will affect us and the quote of the day goes like this. Nobody exists in a vacuum. Each is part of an ecosystem by Stephen Bowen. We all have dreams and desires and when we look around, we can see plenty of people who have achieved exactly whatever we desire. So why aren't we as successful as we would like to be at achieving some of our desires? Well, the answer to this question lies in our ecosystem. Yes, our ecosystem, which is defined as a community or group of living organisms that live and interact with each other in a specific environment. Basically, it is how we interact with what is around us to ensure our survival. We all have been programmed by our family and our environment to behave in certain ways that are acceptable in our family and our societal ecosystem that we belong to. As an example, we, where I live now in Israel, it is acceptable to have no less than two to three children. Well, really no less than two children. So for people who do not have any children here, they will tend to feel as if they do not belong. On the other hand, when I lived in Germany, having around one kid and perhaps a dog is considered the norm. And if you have more than this, you will feel different. It is all about what is acceptable in your ecosystem. These will form your sense of belonging and your boundaries. And these boundaries feel very, very real to us. For example, in some places, if you have too much money and you are successful, then you will not feel as if you belong. You will feel different. And these feelings of belonging are so important to us since belonging to a group and feeling accepted by our family and our society is what allowed and secured our survival in the past. We will feel very uncomfortable when we do not feel as if we belong to the group, to our ecosystem. So if you are living in a place where wealthy people stand out of the crowd and are considered different, and your dream is to become a billionaire or something close to that, then underneath your conscious awareness, you will be self-sabotaging this success so that you will feel that you belong to your ecosystem, so that you will feel accepted and that you belong to your tribe. Now, this is very important to understand this since your ecosystem actually forms the boundaries of what you can or can't achieve in your life. I will give you an example from my life to help you better understand this concept. For me, the most important thing is my daughters, my family. I devoted my life to my children. This is what is also accepted as the norm in my ecosystem for a woman, a woman to do. My eldest daughter is now almost 24 years old and my youngest is eight years old. But since my eldest two daughters are mentally challenged, they were like raising a few children and not only two children. So I have been raising small children now for almost 24 years of my life. Although while raising uh, all of my daughters, I have completed uh, four university degrees and have made uh, millions of dollars for my real estate entrepreneurial projects, which I now live off the passive income that I generated from these projects. The real estate business was created when my daughters were at school. I would go to the banks, I would uh, uh, take care of all the renovations and, and everything during the time, in the mornings, uh, when my children were off in school, leaving me free afternoons to spend with my daughters, although I was still stressed out also in the evenings because this was a lot of, it is a stressful business. I also have an online business, as most of you know, that is quite successful. And I care for this business in hours when my daughters are either sleeping or in school. And this is great, but it is limited. Every other business that I started but needed me to be physically available in hours that are not supportive of my time with my daughters, I have always personally self-sabotaged. And as a result, I haven't reached my full potential. 
Becoming aware of such factors about your ecosystem that are holding you back can be a real eye-opener for you. Many of us are behaving in ways that are self-sabotaging our path to the life of our dreams only because of our ecosystem and the underlying internal conversations that we have running in the background of our mind. Think to yourself, what is the experience that you think you will have once you achieved your goal? And why do you think you may self-sabotage once you have achieved your goal? This is most often due only to your ecosystem. What is the experience that you really want to have and what is your current experience? What is the difference between them? And why do you think you are not where you would like to be? What is it about not having achieved this achievement that is keeping you feeling safe? This is what you really want to get in on. Get curious about your situation. Once you have an understanding of the reasons behind your, of your underlying behaviors, then you are more in a position to control these feelings and allow yourself to reach your true desires. So what can be done about this? Well, the first step is to acknowledge what is it that you are scared of losing. We feel secure in the life that we currently have. We have the support of our ecosystem or else we wouldn't have what we have. We would lose it fast just as... Many lottery winners lose all of their money within a few years after winning because this money does not match their ecosystem. If your life is not the way you want it to be, exactly the way you want it to be, and your dreams are not fulfilled, then these feelings of security are what are holding you back from reaching your dreams. So sit with yourself and figure out what exactly are the beliefs and ecological acceptable behaviors and achievements that are acceptable in your ecosystem. And then think of what you would like to have that is different from the norm in your ecosystem. Then find the beliefs that are holding you back from achieving the life of your dreams and honor your commitment to these behaviors. First of all, you want to honor the fact that you have these behaviors. For example, with me and my daughters, I honor the fact that I am a good mother and that I care for my daughters. But also, slowly make conscious progress to move away from these limiting beliefs and behaviors. Going back to my example with my daughters, I have understood that basically, I am caring more for my daughters when I go to work because I am allowing them to learn the act of giving. They are in a giving state by allowing me to achieve my full potential. And in return, I make more money and I am more fulfilled and we are all happier. and We all enjoy our, our time together more. You must get your desired experience to align with your feelings of safety for you to be able to reach your dreams. So get curious about the reasons that you think you should not have what you want and, wa- and find a way that you will view what you do desire to have in a way that is aligned with your ecosystem belief patterns. And if you cannot become congruent with your thoughts in your current ecosystem and your dreams, then you must move away to some other ecosystem where you will feel accepted and feel belong. So as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself so that the answer will help move your life to a better place for you. And the question of the day is, what do I need to change about my thoughts so that so that my desires align with my ecosystem? And what in my ecosystem belief uh, um, system is blocking me from the changes that I need to make to become the ideal version of myself? Remember that if your behaviors do not align with what is acceptable in your ecosystem, then you will self-sabotage any chance of your success. So either find a way to align your actions with your beliefs of your ecosystem or move to a place where your actions and beliefs align better together in the ecosystem. So as usual, I recommend writing these questions and your answers to them in a notebook, especially prepared for these coaching sessions so that you can make sure that your life is moving in the right direction for you. So to finish off, the affirmation of the day is, I can reach my full potential since my ecosystem is aligned with my success and is supportive of me. I can reach my full potential since my ecosystem is aligned with my success and is supportive of me. 
Now tell this to yourself as many times as you remember to do so because an affirmation has the power to completely transform your life with repetition. I hope you found this video valuable. I hope you liked its content. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel and ring the notifications bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. And also visit my website, The Gorilla Diet, to help you move your health and wellness to a better place for you. Thank you very much for joining. Oh, 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 oh,